vents. Show me the guns I found. On the Show closet. me the guns you found. You look first, gun safety. Yeah, it was empty. It's empty. Nothing in there. Now I can point it at my friends. <laughs> <You're> kidding. <laughs> first rule of gun safety: only point them at your. And when I do sell you guys these projects, I don't fluff you. I don't lie to you, and I don't do what a lot of gurus do out there and lead you to believe that it's all going to be easy money. Lead you to believe that, oh, it's only 19900 It's going to be perfect for that brand new investor from Santa Monica, California. Come to Cleveland, the land of milk and honey, cocaine and rainbows, baby. I mean, to be honest, to be fair, there's probably actually like a lot of cocaine in this neighborhood, honestly. Over the house, I mean... <laughs> Holy <laughs> f***! Found a sword. Columbus? Knights of Columbus? No way! This guy, you just became a knight. Knights of Columbus! Yeah. That's coming hey yeah. It's kind of a situation where like, if, if this is going to be a good one for you, you already know. Because you've already done it, and this is just something you've done many, many times over, and you're just adding it in to your system. You don't even really need a guy like me to, to give you, a, you know, much strategy advice. All you really need is a guy like me to let you know the property is available and to let you get inside the property so you can go do what you do. And if you're that person, folks... I think you're going to make a lot of money on this deal. If you're not that person, if you're someone who's like, oh, well, what's the ARV going to be? How much is it going to rent for? How much is it going to cost to renovate? Who should I get to manage it? How should I do this? What about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? If that's you and you're watching this video, do not send your offer to my team at sales.holtonwise.com, brother. Do not do it. Welcome to the Investment Properties sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch to you giving it to you straight rehabbers wanted man we got quite an interesting project for y'all today it's in east cleveland ohio okay 1656 carolyn road east cleveland east cleveland huh East Cleveland is, uh, whew, it's not one of those cities uh, where you hear about it and you think sunshine and lollipops. No, East Cleveland has got quite the reputation, which is well earned, as uh, being a rough, tough neighborhood, a dangerous place, a blighted place, okay? And, um, you know, it's earned that reputation because it's all true, really. East Cleveland is a very, very very distressed area okay uh but folks uh where there are distressed areas sometimes there are opportunities and people do believe that there is eventually going to be an upswing in what happens in east cleveland so there are investors out there who are gobbling up a lot of property in east cleveland for pennies on the dollar right and you guys have the opportunity to do that here right this particular property nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars okay and it's a little jacked up all right it had uh a, a tenant in there uh who set it on fire on accident okay had a little house fire and that house fire messed up part of the house right it was like the upstairs and i think like one of the the front rooms right as you can see through the footage the guys are going through the house and you'll see a lot of the damage and then you'll see the areas that weren't really affected by the fire right uh but it's it's quite jacked up so of course you're going to need to go in and do a full renovation but this is the thing about East Cleveland. And this is uh, where you do have a lot of seasoned landlords, a lot of hard and gristled landlords that are going to places like East Cleveland, and they are making a killing. Because for all the negatives, right, about East Cleveland, and I could go on for hours and hours and hours discussing the negatives, right? The climb, the crime, the blight, the government. I mean, there's just, you know, a slew of issues. There are a lot of investors out there, though, that are battling all those issues head on, and they are making a killing because, folks, it's a big house. It's a massive house. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms. So you're going to get those Section 8 tenants in there. They have those big monster-sized vouchers, and you will be paid a pretty penny. Where else in the United States of America can you buy a house like this for this cheap and get that kind of rent? The acquisition cost to buy the house is $20,000, but of course you got to rehab it. And what are we talking about rehab-wise? $30,000? 35, 40, 45, maybe $50,000, right? Uh, there's a lot going on uh, to renovate a house like this, right? And of course, there's fire damage. So you kind of got to pull back 
uh, the walls and see what happened under those walls. And right, so it's kind of one of those things you're not really going to know uh, exactly how much money you're going to need to spend until you start doing the project, right? So getting up into the 50k range definitely very reasonable. Uh, so for this particular property, guys, I would say the investors that should buy this house, the investors that will make money buying this house, are those investors who are not rookies, are the investors who know the Section A program inside and out, are the investors who know home renovation inside and out. I would say local people who are their own boots on the ground, who've renovated many houses before, have dealt with many Section 8 tenants before, uh, and are physically in there themselves getting their hands dirty. I would say those are the kinds of people that I see having great success in places like East Cleveland, right? I think places like East Cleveland are kind of like a honeypot uh, trap for a lot of brand new out-of-state investors. I know you get a lot of folks from like California that are like, oh man, oh my God, I could buy a house for $19,000. I couldn't buy a parking split in Santa Monica for that price. I, I, there's no way I can lose money. Oh, take my money, right? You know, you get that all the time. Guys, I don't think people like that are going to make money in a place as difficult as East Cleveland, right? Uh, you need people that know what they're doing and are getting their hands dirty and probably are contractors themselves and you need to keep your guys working in between other jobs and you really got to get uh, sweat equity and economy of scale to, to turn a deal like this into a highly profitable deal. But guess what? There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cats out there making a freaking killing doing that, right? So my advice to you all would be if you are not seasoned, gristled, and know exactly what you're doing uh, and have done a project like this, I would say you're probably not the best person. Um, you're probably not going to have the highest chance of success. That would be my opinion to you guys as an audience, right? I've done $200 million worth of real estate. Uh, if I wanted to take on this project, I could make a boatload of money on it, okay? Um, I'm someone who could, you know kill it, right? But I've got a freaking massive multi-million dollar operation. I've been doing this for a very, very long time and I've renovated thousands of houses, okay? Uh, if you don't have, I'm not saying you need to have that big of a resume, but like if you don't have a bunch of these things under your belt, you're probably not the right cat for this. So now I know a lot of people are like, Duff, you can make money on it while you're selling it, man, on your show. Why don't you just do it? Well, that's a great question, guys. I'm glad you asked. And I'll tell you this, because like, when you've built up a business as large as mine, uh, I'll be honest with you, it's, it's, it's hard and it's difficult uh, and it's a lot of tough, tough work to make money in East Cleveland. And um, have I done projects like this in the past? Yes. Have I made money on projects in the past? Yes. Am I confident I can make money on this project? Yes. But guess what? I've also at the point where collectively Holton Wise TV has been viewed over 25 million times. I've sold over $200 million worth of investment properties and we have like, you know, almost 200,000 collective subscribers on all of our various outlets at this point. And uh, when you have all that, you could actually make money a little bit easier than uh, going in and renovating a really tough firehouse, right? So I've, uh, I've worked on houses like this in the past to build myself up to where I'm at right now. But simply put, it's just easier money uh, to do my show uh, and to sell to you guys. Uh, but I take great pride and when I do sell you guys these projects, I don't fluff you. I don't lie to you. And I don't do what a lot of gurus do out there and lead you to believe that it's all going to be easy money. Lead you to believe that, oh, it's only 19900 It's going to be perfect for that brand new investor from Santa Monica, California. Come to Cleveland, the land of milk and honey, cocaine and rainbows, baby. I mean... To be honest, to be fair, there's probably actually like a lot of cocaine in this neighborhood, honestly. Uh, but, but the rainbows and the lollipops and the easy money, that's not there. It's tough. It's rough, right? So I take great pride in providing you guys a really realistic lens of who I believe is a good candidate to make money on a certain type of investment. I don't think, I get asked this a lot. People are like, is this a good deal? Is this a good property? Is this a good property? Is this a bad property, right? The yin and the yang. Is this a good property? Is this a bad property? I get asked those questions, those two questions, which are the same question, but just, you know, the different form of it. I get asked those an unlimited amount of times. I've been asked those questions thousands of times. And it's like a trick question because there is no, like, definitive answer. It's never yes and it's never no. Every property could be a good property or a bad property for that particular buyer 
depending on a factor of things, right? Like any property could be good, it could be bad. It's just like what what like situation is it in, right? Like I think this particular property could be really good if it's bought for the right price by the right investor. I think this particular property could be really, really, really bad if it's bought for the wrong price by the wrong investor. I think it would be bad if it was bought for the right price but for the wrong investor. You get what I'm saying? Every specific situation, like any property, can be good or bad depending on like the, the particular semantics of what's going down. And I really, like I said, I pride myself on letting you guys know who I think would make the most sense when, where, and why, right? And for this one, again, it's kind of a situation where like if, if this is going to be a good one for you, you already know. Because you've already done it, and this is just something you've done many, many times over, and you're just adding it in to your system. You don't even really need a guy like me to, to give you, a, you know, much strategy advice. All you really need is a guy like me to let you know the property is available and to let you get inside the property so you can go do what you do. And if you're that person, folks... I think you're going to make a lot of money on this deal. If you're not that person, if you're someone who's like, oh, well, what's the ARV going to be? How much is it going to rent for? How much is it going to cost to renovate? Who should I get to manage it? How should I do this? What about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? If that's you and you're watching this video, do not send your offer to my team at sales.holtonwise.com, brother. Do not do it because you probably ain't going to make any money. But seriously, though, I mean, like if you want to, you can, because we will absolutely sell you the deal. But don't come back to me six months later crying that the deal didn't work out how you thought it was going to work out. And don't ask me a million questions because I'm not going to provide it to you. Because if you don't know those answers yet, you ain't going to be the guy that makes money. So I'm not going to, to, to fluff you or lie to you here. I'm telling you right now, if despite my advice to you, you are that like brand new new about it, like Santa Monica, who thinks it's all going to magically work out. Hey, man, if you want to rock and roll on it, you send that offer, that cash as is only offer to sales at HoltonWise.com. But in my opinion, you're the wrong buyer. The right buyer is someone who knows what they're doing, someone who does construction themselves, someone who has their own team, someone who's done this time and time again and understands that Section 8 program like the back of their hand. Because this neighborhood is far too blighted to try to go uh, with cash bank tenants, in my opinion. I think the risk versus the reward does not pan out for investors, right? And the people that make money in this neighborhood, they already know that. They already know who they are. So they're just hoping I shut the fuck up already and tell them how they could get in this house. So for those folks, I will do so now. If you guys want to make your offer sight unseen, you can. Email my team, sales at HoltonWeiss.com. We're only accepting as-is cash offers, though. I would assume most people would like to actually physically tour this property themselves so they could put together their full scope of work and really sink their teeth into what they are getting, and that is fine. We are here to make that as easy as possible for you folks. All you got to do, send an email to my team, sales at HoltonWeiss.com. If you get me the email before 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we will get you into this property same day. If not, we'll get you in the very next day. After you've walked it, toured it, done your entire set of due diligence, and you're ready to buy it, just send an as-is cash offer to that email, sales at HoltonWeiss.com. Include your proof of funds in the email. And please, folks, include the property address. We literally get thousands of emails a day. So like when you guys are like, oh, I want to buy a property I saw on HoltonWeiss TV. It was on YouTube. That's awesome. There's like thousands of those. So like you're going to have to specify it for us, right? Sales at oldandwise.com. We'll get you in there. We'll field your offers. You know who you are if you're able to make money on this kind of a deal. Let's rock and roll. Hell yeah. All right. So I'm going to find out what's in this chest. How disappointing. Nothing. I love houses like this. Yo, you gotta get a shot of Vince. Playing with some Vince. random guns I found in the Show closet. me the guns you found. Yeah, first gun safety. Yeah, it was empty. It's empty. Nothing in there. Now I can point it at my friends. <laughs> <You're> kidding. <laughs> first rule of gun safety. Only Point them at your friends when it's empty. Alright. And then, uh, we got this old beast. 
Oh shit, Uno cards. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, You're getting good, uh, good walkthrough footage. Yeah. You know, I'm like all up in it. Yeah. Of course, dude. My first priority <laughs> is always the walkthrough. Holy shit, there's no roof. Guys, come up here. There's no roof. <laughs> I found a roof. A roof? What? Yeah, it's missing. <laughs> Raccoon's been up here yeah, shitting. Fucking spider, dude. It's a oh, little. Yeah. It's a little hot up here, though. A sunlight. Yeah. I'll really show the potential. Yeah, they Gary. pre. They pre-cut skylights for you and everything. <gasps> Don't step there. It's very soft. I almost went through. Okay. Damn it, Gary. Son of a bitch. Man, this sucks, dude. This is like a lot of shit in here. What baseball player is that on this sign ball down here? Ooh, you see that giant spider up there? Yeah, I did. It scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Yeah. Oh, nice cool breeze. A what poster? Gandalf! Oh, Where? Yeah. How did I not see a Gandalf poster? Oh, I guess I was filming the walkthrough, so. I can't see anything in there. This one, anyway. This one's Gandalf. Cool. You're my man's. That's Grandolf the Gate. <laughs> <laughs> well, how is this room up here like fine? I don't know. That one and this one across the hall or next to it here are pretty pretty good too. Social security card in here. Hell yeah, I needed a new identity. Well you can be Tom Newell. Hell yeah. How old am I? Oh pretty fucking old. This is 1927. <laughs> There's a good probability I'm dead if I'm Tom. Holy shit. Look at the roof out there. Yeah. Right through here. Oh my god, can you see it right through this window? Uh, kind of, oh shit, yeah, kinda. There's a hole in the roof. Is that Bill Clinton? No, they met Bill Clinton! Holy shnikes. Ew, there's Hillary. <laughs> I hate Hillary. Back when she was hot. She was never hot. She has a horrible personality. She's a piece of shit for a human being. Uh, tell me how you really feel about her. She's a piece of shit. I feel weird sniffing, but I can't help myself. Anytime I'm in a vacant house, dude. Dude, some new ties. I just played what's in the box in this room over here. Turns out it was nothing. There was nothing in the box. This is old weed remnants. <gasps> Marijuanas? Oh, that's illegal. Oh shit, hold on. Let me see if I can get this on camera. That's pretty fucked, guys. I hope this is the kind of stuff they want. Like a good walkthrough with some... Yeah, I mean, as long as we get a good walkthrough, I feel like everything else is just kind of like bonus tennis from hell shit. Huh? Cool. Clifton, you are fucked. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea caused the fire. Just spread from there, dude. I mean, the inside of the toilet's looking a little burnt. I don't know how that happens if, you know. Is there anything in this? Nah. <coughs> Nothing worth a while. You Yeah, there wasn't anything in there. In there? I looked. I, looked. I played what's in the box with that one. What's in the box? It's sad, but I can't help myself. Like, anytime I see a box or like a thing at a vacant property, I'm like. No, you definitely. Bro, you, I never would have seen those guns if you didn't call them out. Yeah, call them. I saw the ammo. Is that one? It's like flip -hawk. I thought you were in this closet. Oh, no, no, no. This cool closet over here. 
Those guns are rusty as hell. Yeah, they need some oil and love. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot to fucking film here. Alright, yeah. Should we get to try to go down in the basement? Uh, we can try, but there's a bunch of shit in the way. I, think we I don't think there's anything down there. No. Like, even if there are... It's fucked. Yeah. Uh, see the torch. I mean, if you're going off of the rest of the house, yeah, I'd, I'd say that there's no furnace. No Why is there a new window right here? I don't know. You know, the lead stuff. Yeah, but like the house is on fire. <laughs> But There's the windows will pass the lead. You know what else won't pass lead? The fucking this roof, Mr. Gotta be newer than that. Though. You gotta have a whole roof? Yeah, those are like the rules. These fucking regulations and bullshit. Cleveland's a bunch of fucking shysters. They take that providing a roof over your head thing a little too seriously. This closet. Oh, yeah. so, well, let's do a kickflip. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're sweet if you went right through the floor. <laughs> oh shit! Like, like, I landed it, man. This light bulb melted. I know. I got. I tried to get it, but it's like it's hard to see it on the camera. There's just a little bit of light. And if I hold it straight under it, it's like so much soot in here. It's making me want to sneeze. It's like somebody's life just went up in a blaze. Like yeah, literally. This is like a fully lived-in home, and then. Mm hmm. Look at, hey, look at the difference, though. Yeah, like this room? No, no, no. Like, oh, the yeah, door. Look at this fucking door. <laughs> Completely undamaged. Look at the two doors. The that and that. See that right there? That's the difference in quality of stain. <laughs> they use a good stain here. And then they put a cheap stain on this one. <laughs> that shit just melted. <laughs> I should probably close this so the raccoons don't take over the house. I mean. Holy <laughs> shit, dude! Kind he found a sword. sword. Yo, keep that. You gotta keep the that's sword. That's coming with us. What's you may not be able to take it? the guns, but that's coming back to the office. Columbus, Knights of Columbus. No way. This guy, you just became a knight. Knights of Columbus. Hey yeah. That's coming with us. Yeah. It's a me. Put that on your belt right now. That's coming home. Guys. It's a me, Knights of Columbus. Are we what? Why couldn't you? Plus, it's uh, where East Cleveland, bud. You didn't steal that. <laughs> I am still filming, though, so cut most of that out. <laughs> I mean, is it really theft at this point? That'd be the second time. Walkthrough was done like 10 minutes ago. Really. Oh, yeah, it's been like 18 more minutes of content. <laughs> yeah, let's go inside this. Uh, Nobody coming back. Let's go inside this. Nice. I'm gonna come down here and you guys figure out what you're doing with the sword. <sighs> Can't really get in the backyard though because it's everything's boarded up. But there's a garage back there. Couple of new windows. It's fucking hard to see in this room. Fuck. Brand new window. That's spooky, the outlines of the photos. I 
soil, and for your soul, <laughs> Milige. Yeah, That's cool. Milige. We get a family for that? Uh, yeah, we should probably. Yeah. Hey. Whoa! Oh, hold on. I, I could probably squeeze by. Where'd I put my. Uh, Fuck! The slimmest one out of all of them. Hold on, camera. Stop looking at me. <laughs> we gotta hide these right here so that we can get back. Uh, we can close that door. All right, hold on. Hey man, you got you got protection, and now we got a fucking sword. With oh, there's like there's a gap out there I can get up to. Oh man. May as well, man. We're here. Right, right. Hey, the stairs are clear other than that first uh, little walkway. Oh my god. Is it clear? Because that didn't sound good. No, that's me. Oh, okay. I know, I thought. Before we're propping up the door, I just fucking kicked it down. How's it look? There's a lot of stuff down here. Bruce Lee post. A cut. Well, fuck yeah, dude. There's like five Bruce Lee posters down here. A bunch of old clothes. Speaker system. Is oh, he up yeah, there dude. fighting? This dude was all about Bruce Lee. A bunch of vinyls up back there. Yeah, this sucks, dude. <laughs> Hot water tank and furnace are uh, still here, though. Old X wing, some gloves for boxing, uh, old shitter. Yo, there's so much fucking paint there, and like, I'm surprised that shit didn't blow up. It's probably the, it looks like the fire didn't really get down here. This smells like it's not good for me. Probably not. This sword is very flimsy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it won't puncture the wall. I tried that too. Oh, okay. You see an electric, you see an electric panel anywhere? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Huh? I found it. What? The electric panel? Oh. Why? There's no electric. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in there. It's just a panel. Y'all want some old Pringles? How was the basement? Not too shabby. Would I have died going down the steps? No, as long as you get past that first set, it would have been good. Cool. Where'd you go? No. Oh. got my watch. I've been look, trying to look at my wrist all day. Oh. Don't you wear an Apple watch? Yeah. See my tan line. Oh, I got a wicked one too. This dude's all business when he gets that drone in here. Is that the most efficient way to throw those up there? I like his hat. I love it. I fucking love it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.